Only Vermont and Hawaii remain on the Massachusetts travel exemption list. New Hampshire and Maine were removed on Friday. Oh, with Thanksgiving just three days away, millions of people are preparing to travel despite all the warnings from health officials. WBZ's Anna Myler is at Logan Airport with the story. It's not the usual hustle and bustle of Thanksgiving week that we are used to seeing, but it was still the busiest weekend for New England airports since the beginning of the pandemic. Passengers at Logan Airport are wearing masks and face shields, trying to stay safe from COVID-19 as they head home for the holiday. His family is important to me, and I didn't want to let um, a virus, as, as big as it is, stop me from seeing my family. And if we take precautions, I think that it's a very uh, safe bet. The CDC has urged Americans to stay home for Thanksgiving and celebrate with the people you live with. Despite those warnings, more than one million people passed through TSA checkpoints across the country on Sunday, the busiest day since the start of the pandemic. At New England's six major airports, TSA officers screened more than 78,000 people from Friday through Sunday, the busiest weekend since March. We wore masks, we followed the rules, we distanced ourselves. So this is the thing, every precaution that we take reduces the risk of viral transmission, but it does not bring that risk down to zero. Dr. Abrar Karan says he is seeing an increase in the number of COVID patients he is treating. He's urging people to rethink their holiday travel plans. We have more cases now than we've ever had, and people are thinking about traveling and flying. As much as we want you to see your families, we don't want you to see your families in hospital beds the way that we're seeing them. He says if everyone does their part right now, it will make a big difference in the future. And so if millions of people take these small sacrifices this Thanksgiving, we can avert a major, major disaster in the coming weeks. A TSA spokesperson tells me they are expecting the same number of passengers, if not more, the day before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after. Reporting at Logan Airport, Anna Myler, WBZ News.